The Yak-152 light trainer aircraft project, which is intended for the initial training of pilots of the Russian Air and Space Forces, is still being worked upon by PJSC Yakovlev. State joint tests of the Yak-152 were finalized at the end of 2023, during which the aircraft's primary flight performance characteristics were verified. The subsequent phase of the project's development will involve the development of the Russian analogues for the German Red A03 engine, propeller, and other Yak-152 components. The VK650V turboshaft engine, which was initially designed to be installed in K226, ANSAT, and VRT500 helicopters, is being considered as a potential replacement. The VK650V has already undergone preliminary design work to be adapted to the Yak-152. The developers have determined that the engine is appropriate for the aircraft. Yakovlev CEO Andrei Boginsky told a Raya Novosti correspondent, We and our colleagues from UDK have carried out preliminary design work to tie the VK650 engine to this aircraft. The engine is suitable, but their priority is an engine for a helicopter. Then we will work on this engine for the aircraft. We have done such preliminary work with ODK. We are not leaving this machine. Yakovlev is motivated by the necessity to maintain the Yak-152's existing flight characteristics when selecting domestic analogues. Simultaneously, the designers are trying to minimize the need for additional testing by attaining the highest degree of uniformity in the geometry and positioning of the bonnet group. The Yak-152 is an additional component to the combat training complex that is based on the Yak-130. The Russian Aerospace Forces Graduates Training System is considered to be optimal with the integrated use of two planes, a piston at the initial stage of training and a jet-powered combat trainer to enhance the acquired skills. The Yak-152's development expertise is intended to be used in the development of a new training aircraft that is specifically designed to train civil aviation pilots. The civilian trainer project is currently in its initial stage. However, it is reasonable to anticipate that the arrangement of a cadet and an instructor will be implemented in a row, shoulder to shoulder, as is the case with all civil aircraft. Additionally, the Yakovlev Design Bureau has experience in the building of light aircraft with cabins of this nature, including the Yak-18T, four-seat training and passenger aircraft. Now, do you think sanctions are helping Russia rather than harming it? Let us know in the comments. We discuss such interesting topics every day. Please like, share, and subscribe for more such stories in the future.